who are some young pitchers or some pitchers that are doing well for the Clippers? I know the the team is um, kind of mirroring the, the the Indians, getting pretty good pitching and struggling with the offense some. Yeah, that's kind of been the case. The Clippers' offense has been a little bit hit or miss. They've put some big, crooked numbers up, but the pitching has been pretty solid. The bullpen was dynamite until the last two days. Uh, the bullpen allowed the Omaha Storm Chasers, the AAA affiliate of the Kansas City Royals, to come from behind and win both last night and this afternoon. And that's something that they hadn't done over the first series plus. The bullpen had been really outstanding, not allowing a run over the final three innings of any game until yesterday. But, you know, these things happen over the course of a long season. So you give them a bit of a pass for that. It hurts, of course, right now. But, you know, Kirk McCarty was the starter yesterday, or excuse me, two days ago. And uh, I really liked the way he kept his pace. Uh, there wasn't a lot of traffic on the bases, so that makes it easy for a starter to do. But he's one of those guys who uh, makes the pitch, give me the baseball, give me the sign, let's throw the next one. And he got into a really good rhythm against Omaha in the first game of the series and uh, and carved him up. And then, uh, you know, we had uh, J.C. Mejia throw in yesterday. He looked pretty good as a starter, made it through five innings, was in line for the win before Omaha was able to score three runs over the eighth and ninth inning to take the victory from the Clippers. And, you know, we talked about Logan Allen earlier. There's three-fifths of your rotation and then you talk about, uh, you know, Scott Moss, Eli Morgan. Those are both guys that are a factor for the Cleveland Indians in the future. They both had late starts, um, held back in spring training a little bit. They just joined the Clippers at the end of the alternate training site. And both have looked pretty good so far uh, this season. I don't know if you've got the next Shane Bieber quite yet, but there's time to develop. That's what the minor leagues are for. You get those those uh, maybe that fourth pitch as a starter or really fine-tune the command of your fastball, something you can pitch off of. So the rotation has been pretty good. The bullpen, there's there's a real mix of guys that have been in the organization and then some other guys from outside of the organization. Uh, DJ Johnson was the pitcher uh, today that finished off the game, gave up a two-run home run, but prior to that, he was dynamite. He has been at the back end uh, for four games for the Clippers and um, – you know, you think about some of the other guys. Blake Parker has a couple of saves, but but he struggled a little bit yesterday. So in back-to-back -back games, the bullpen has given up some runs. But uh, Anthony Goes is an interesting guy. Uh, made it to the major leagues in the Blue Jays system as an outfielder and converted to a pitcher. He's 30 years of age now and uh, started that transition with the Tigers. He's been in the Indian system now for a couple of years. Really hard thrower. He can get to the upper 90s. We've seen him 98 with his fastball. He's got a slider. Still, though, working on the command. When he is sharp, he can be a, a power bullpen arm for the Indians. They've got a few of those already, but they would really like this left-hander to be able to be a, a kind of a fastball-slider combo out of the bullpen to complement the guys they already have up there. He's getting close. He's getting close. I, he, it, it sometimes takes him too many pitches to get a guy out because his command isn't uh, where it needs to be yet. But if he's able to make that next step, he's going to be a lot of fun to watch for the Cleveland Indians.